Gerard Besson, better known as Jerry, was born in 1942 and grew up in Belmont, Port of Spain. He was educated at Tranquility Boys School and at St. Thomas High School. Having from young the ability to draw, build models, and later paint, it was easy for him in 1962, together with Wayne Barclay and Rosemary Stone, to start up Salmore Display, a company that specialized in show window, showroom, and trade fair design, as well as carnival costume design. Jerry's career in advertising began in 1965, when he worked at Lonsdale Trinidad Limited under Brian Ferreira, and later at Norman Craig and Cummel, NCK under Percy Huggins. He then moved to Habib's stores as advertising and merchandising manager, where he was in charge of the chain's window and in-store displays, advertising and sales promotions. After Habib's a two-year stint, he accepted positive. the position of account group head at k and &E CPV under Reggie De Silva. The local advertising agencies in the early 1970s represented all the leading brands and significant institutions. With the oil boom, new institutions, products and brands came into being. This offered an opportunity for the launch of creative advertising, which I founded in 1972 with Clive Bradley and Ken Chi. Sheila Hezekiah, who I married in the same year, would be my muse and inspiration in those early years and would later provide the stabilizing element in both my career and in the advertising agency that we would build together. Sheila represented Creative Advertising on the Advertising Agencies Association of Trinidad and Tobago Executive for many years in the roles of Secretary, Treasurer, Vice President and President. Creative Advertising became the go-to agency for many of the new products, brands and institutions that were coming into being as older agencies were handling the older companies and brands. Creative advertising was the fighting agency if you wanted to take on the established competition. With the burst of nationalized companies, Jerry landed several important government accounts, most notably the National Insurance Board, for which he organized the launch, designed the logo, and produced press, radio, and TV. For t and Tech, he produced the logo design as well as the branding for the repositioning of this utility that was placed under the chairmanship of Professor Ken Julian. To present day, many of his logo designs and symbols are still in use. The agency launched and branded the National Commercial Bank, a local banking institution that was to compete with the long-established foreign banks such as Barclays, Royal Bank of Canada, Bank of Nova Scotia and CIBC. I would say that my most influential work before starting creative advertising had been as advertising manager for Habib Stores. I had convinced Edward, Edward Habib, to be the first advertiser in Trinidad and Tobago to use black models in advertisements of high quality, high priced men's clothing. Because of his faith in my ability, I suppose, Edward brought the account of his expanding chain of stores to creative advertising. Roy, Roy Boyk, who would go on to open Atlas Advertising and, and Key Caribbean, was then at the Express. He was the chief photographer there. And I worked with him on a series of ads which broke the racial mold in Trinidad and Tobago and pitted Habibs successfully against the leading menswear establishments of the time such as J.T. Johnson's, Hoodley's, Harry Clark, and some others. Notable accounts for which Jerry designed enduring logos, typography, wrote and produced the ads, designed the packaging and managed the accounts for decades were Star Bear, which was launched against the long-established Carabair brand. Flavorite Ice Cream, which was positioned against Cannings, the leading brand at the time. The relaunched Statue's Gift Shops, positioned against the well-established Stevens, Davidson and Todd, and Wide Limmers for bridal gifts, perfumes and specialty items. Standard Distributors, which challenged the leading chain Kripalani's. 
What made Jerry's creative direction unique in the advertising sector of the 1970s to the 90s was his original use of copy and original visualization from a strong cadre of illustrators who worked in his studio. Peter Shim, Hayden Strasser, Stuart Hahn, Wayne Cesare, Peter Sozano, Jeffrey Patterson and Suan Gomes, among others, brought originality and creativity to the pages of the newspaper of the day. Clients found the clear lines of black and white illustrations, the originality of the layouts, and the new approach to the use of typography more impactful and creative. It also suited the taste of the times and was perceived as in vogue and ultra-stylish. Creative Advertising was the first advertising agency in Trinidad and Tobago to have an in-house darkroom, print tree, TV and radio production facilities. These facilities helped Jerry to diversify into Paria Publishing Company Limited, which he founded in 1981 as chairman and publisher to further his interest in local history. It has evolved decades later to become a creative studio for brand development, advertising and communications with an impressive client list. For 21 years, creative advertising under Jerry's creative directorship and Sheila's management was a respected and successful agency until the economic downturn made it necessary to merge with Lonsdale, Saatchi & Saatchi in 1993, where both he and Sheila continued as directors. Jerry retired at age 60 in 2002. Jerry is a consummate historian, always ready to share his vast knowledge of the country's history through his many books, his web blog, his documentaries, and his work with the local museums. Once a formidable strength in the advertising world, Jerry Bessaw's creative output and social influence continues unabated.